We've been through about 10 or 12 years of extensive investment in the research infrastructure across the country, coming from a period in the late 90s where the research infrastructure in Ireland was really not competitive on an international scale. And then through the, the investment through PRTLI, through the Department of Education, and through SFI, through the Department of Enterprise, Trade and Employment, have really transformed the landscape for research across the Irish university system, here in UCC and across all of our sister universities. So we now have research institutes, research facilities, which are comparable to the best at any international situation. I suppose the challenge that we're facing now with the, with the difficult economic climate is to actually maintain and sustain what has been built up over the last 10 years and bring it forward into the future and make sure that the, the economic benefits from investing in research actually return to the country. So, you know, there, there are two parallel challenges and what, what we're seeing is in terms of sustaining the research infrastructure, we're seeing clearly the researchers are looking to non-exchequer sources to augment the uh, funding that they're having through the exchequer sources. So, in particular, researchers are looking at European funding opportunities and the New Horizon 2020 funding programme will really bring very exciting opportunities there. So, so we're seeing the researchers looking to that as a way forward for sustaining their research. We're also seeing an increasing number of contracts with enterprise partners where people are reaching out but using the infrastructure and the expertise that's been built up on the basis of the national investment and now making partnerships with companies internationally and sustaining their research partially through that type of engagement into the future. So that's one channel that's moving forward. The other side of the equation is that there's a huge emphasis in making sure that as a country we've invested in research. Clearly, we've invested in it partly just for the general societal benefit of having a research active community, but also the long-term return to the economic well-being of the country is very important. So we're seeing an increased emphasis in you know, making sure that the results of the research lead to innovation, lead to commercialisation opportunities, that we're starting to see the research benefit come out into the community as a whole. So nurturing that type of a space is equally important at this moment in time. I'm very optimistic. I think that you know, we now have wonderful facilities here. We have people who can hold their, hold their credibility in, in terms of the international research community. The people we have within the research system are, are undoubtedly the most important part and the most important benefit. So I think that you know, it will be more challenging in the next five years to sustain the research. I do believe we'll find ways of doing it. I think it's critically important that Ireland as a country holds its nerve and that it actually sustains the confidence that was, uh, was expressed in the strategy for science, technology and innovation in, uh, just about five years ago now. That expressed a confidence in Ireland as a future with a knowledge-based economy. We need to hold that confidence. We need to be confident to continue to invest in research, do it wisely, make sure that the investment that we're making does lead to a long-term economic benefit of the country, but we need to be confident that this is the way forward for the country. There's a very exciting research prioritisation process underway nationally at the moment, which is just nearing completion, whereby a large group of people spent much of the last couple of months looking at the areas of strength which have been built up over the last decade where is Ireland genuinely strong in research and then matching that with where there are opportunities for economic development to really see what are the areas we should focus on as a country and this type of an exercise is very important coming from a period where we spent a decade building up research and now looking at how we can wisely sustain this into the future and make sure that the country benefits from that. I think in terms of that debate the other element of it which is extremely important is the importance of the human capital. The largest benefit that comes out of research for a country is actually the people, the PhD students, the postdocs who are trained in active research teams. They bring out with them into the workplace skills which are extremely valuable and ext makes them very adaptable and makes them very, very critical for companies in Ireland where they're trying to bring in new innovations from overseas. Having people trained in a top class research environment is extremely important. So I think while we're prioritising the research areas, we need to be mindful of the fact that the most important outcome is actually the researchers, the people we're generating, the, the bright young people who will be the future of the country. So we need to make sure that we nurture these people, that we give the very brightest and best opportunities to grow their skills, to develop to their maximum extent as researchers, and then bring that out into the community for the wider benefit. So all of those issues are under debate at the moment. It's an exciting time. Um, but I think, you know, that the, making the right decisions now to make sure that Ireland in the future benefits from research is critically important.